Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about our first look at the new season, so some new promotional photos, but also we've got a new story. We've also got the reveal of four titles for Supergirl and a potential big returning character, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so first off we're going to talk about the big stuff that is the first photos that have been released for the season obviously we had comic con about you know a month and a bit ago in july towards the end i was there it was such a great event and you guys can go check out the panel i uploaded the whole panel i also did an interview with all of the cast members of supergirl including melissa and kyla it was so awesome to actually be able to sit down in real life and actually talk to them and do an interview and it was so cool I can't wait to do it again next year and you can go back and check those videos they will have a lot of information in it and I think if you haven't watched them I think it would be beneficial for yourself but this is our first photo look at what's going to be happening this is just from I believe one specific scene and so the first photo is this of Jean and Jean is right here. This is definitely Jean. It's not like his brother or anything because you know He's gonna be a big thing going into the season. We know Carl Lumley is going to be voicing His brother, but we don't know if David's actually going to be playing himself You know if they are identical twins, I guess David might end up playing him his brother But anyway, so he's in some sort of theater it's a stadium, but it's not like a, you know, a sports stadium, it is a theatre. I remember they were shooting a scene inside a theatre recently. I think Canada Grass was the one that was pointing it out, that they were inside this place, and it seems like this is what's happening. So, they're at some sort of performance. I reckon Jean is there as himself. He's actually at the event prior to whatever happens in the coming photos. So I think he's there, maybe with someone, he could be alone, I'm not sure, but then we move on to the next photo, and you can clearly see it is an auditorium, it is a theatre, maybe there is some layers above, I don't know, but you can see the rows of chairs, and you get a look at Nia in her dreamer suit for this season. And I'm not actually sure if her suit, well, her cow in specific, has an upgrade, it kind of looks a bit different, or it could be the angle, the way that her hair is sort of going around, because, you know, she's obviously mid-action when they took this photo. This is not in the episode. As you know, these photos are from other cameras behind the scenes. So, potentially it may be the same mask, but it kind of looks a bit different. But again, she's in that auditorium. And then we move on to the next photo. And it seems like Alex is actually there normally. Because she's normally dressed. She's not in her DEO wear with John. So, maybe it's just them two going. Or maybe, you know... It's them plus Kelly and then plus whoever John's going with or maybe John's just with Kara say or maybe they're all together I don't know and then you know Nia and then Kara get suited up and then they come back, but I'm not sure well anyway So Alex looks really good here Kyla finally gets to actually not be in her DEO costume as per usual you know that was a complaint on mine last season because Kylo really only got to wear that DEO costume and she was, you know, just DEO stuff until Kelly came. And I think this season with Kelly around, Alex is going to be able to do some other stuff and I think that's really exciting. So it's exciting to not see her in DEO wear because that gives me hope that we're going to see more Alex stuff outside of what her DEO work is. And so it seems like, you know, overall the scene is some sort of confrontation. I'm not sure what type of villain's in here, but we know in episode 1... There is the villain called Midnight, they've cast her, and she's going to be here, but I don't know a specific reason as to why she would be in this specific scene. Maybe she knows Kara's Supergirl, maybe she knows she's there, say perhaps, but we don't really have much context as to what's going on apart from they were at some sort of performance before this attack. And so now moving on to the next photo, we get to see Kara as Supergirl and she's in her new costume. This is so exciting. I love this photo. This and Alex's photo are definitely my favourites. You get to see some sort of face of shock, kind of excitement in a weird way on Melissa's face right here. But it's just a very cool angle to get this photo to see and really showcase the suit some more because we haven't really got many like great quality photos of the suit like actually in action and on the set so this is exciting to see the whole thing 
working all together and I'm such a big fan of the suit. I think it's really good. Normally when they upgrade suits on the CW, they tend to go worse. If you look at the Flash Season 4 suit or Season 5 suit, it's a lot worse. I think the Season 4 suit for the Flash was bearable, it was fine, but then the Season 5 was horrible. So I think this upgrade is a really good upgrade. I'm really digging it. I really like the sort of colour scheme and I like how there's no dress i don't think that's a necessary thing i think it looked really cool on the last suit and you know they can go back to it if they want and if that is something that maybe perhaps doesn't work in this season but i think it looks really cool with the pants as americans say and as melissa and everyone has been saying she's got trousers on and i do like the color scheme i think it's nice that it's all one color it's kind of darker blue it's a bit less bright Maybe, you know, next season they might touch it up, add a bit more colour into it. But for now, looks really cool. Melissa looks really cool. She's obviously got a new hairstyle. And yeah, so she's in the auditorium. She's standing on the stairs. And her fists are in the, you know, very Supergirl confrontational position that she goes in. She clenches her fists as she's about to fly or punch someone, say perhaps. So it seems like there is some sort of big confrontation going here. Alright, and so this photo is the last photo we're going over. We get to see Brainy right here. He's looking into the sky. He's in the auditorium. So the reason why he's looking up, it seems like whatever this midnight villain is, she's somehow going to be able to go into the sky. She's going to be able to fly or perhaps propel herself up there. And I believe this is actually after the rest of the photo. So, you know, whatever fight has gone down, I think it's gone down by then. Okay, so let's move on to the next stuff, and this is the episode title, so they've revealed four titles for the season. We already knew one, that was Blurred Lines, and so Blurred Lines was the title that we actually revealed on this channel, because, you know, someone leaked the script, and we were able to Photoshop it and change the exposure, and to get the title out of that for episode three, that's going to be heavily to do with Martian Manhunter and his past, and Malafay Jones, his brother. And so episode one is titled Event Horizon, and Event Horizon actually is in reference to either the 1997 film, which is a sci-fi film, or in the comics, there is the Event Horizon, and it's a intergalactic rave run by Kindred Marks, as it's described in the comics. Essentially, it's a group run by this one person, and so maybe it's to do with that, but it's defunct in the comics, and it might happen, but... I would probably say our best bet is more in line with what the film Event Horizon is, so maybe some sci-fi stuff to do with Midnight. Event Horizon in DC was introduced with the Superboy comic, so it does kind of connect, so there is a high possibility it could be that Event Horizon the title references. And so, now moving on past episode 1, the next title is in fact Stranger Beside Me. There is no real, you know, reason for this title apart from Probably it's to do with Lena and Kara because the stranger beside her, you know, she's found out that she's Supergirl and now she doesn't trust her. So now, you know, Kara is really a stranger to Lena because, you know, she can't trust her anymore. So I think that's in reference to that. I could be wrong. But anyway, so Blurred Lines is the episode 3 title. We talked about that. We don't know what the Blurred Line is specifically in reference to, but I'm guessing it's something to do with the Martian Manhunter's past and also mainly to do with his brother and the blurred lines of what he did in the past and so episode four of season five is titled in plain sight so again i think it could be a reference to lena because you know kara was hiding in plain sight as supergirl or it's in reference to say perhaps a villain or maybe the main villain who's going to be in the first part of the season maybe leaning into the back half of the season someone that is hiding and I think it's a high possibility is actually going to be Malefic Jones John's brother because you know he looks exactly like John and I think he will be able to look like David Harewood and he can hide in plain sight so I think that is perhaps in reference to that as well and so some additional news before we wrap up this video we know that we might be getting a major returning character who appeared in one episode, he actually died. And so this is from iZombie Actor and he played Jack on Supergirl, the ex-boyfriend of Lena Luthor. And so that is played by Raul Coley and I don't know if I'm saying his name wrong. I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but it seems like he is teased he's going to return and I 
Don't know how, you know, they were bringing back considering he's dead, but I think it's a cool opportunity because he was pretty cool and I like the actor. He is very entertaining. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Share this video around as we try and reach 100,000 subscribers. Supergirl is back very soon. I can't wait to talk about all the episodes with you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.